Hey guys, so today I'm taking you on a decluttering journey with me again. I know I only just recently decluttered my makeup collection probably about three or four months ago. I will link it up here in case you want to check it out. However, I have sort of been feeling like there's a few more things that I could part with. Obviously, I'm not a beauty blogger. I tend to post more about fashion and style, so I don't really need to have this much makeup. I like to wear the same makeup looks day in and day out as well, so I'm very much a creature of habit in that respect. So I wanted to just get rid of a few of the things that I knew that I'm not needing and also give it to a better home. Plus, this week at work, we are going to be giving away unopened new beauty products to the beauty bank. So if I can go through and find things in my makeup collection that I can give away, then I thought that that would also be a really great thing to do as well. Um, and I do have some skincare products that I was planning on giving as part of that too. So I'm going to jump right into it and kind of start going through all of my makeup bits and pieces and getting rid of the things that I'm no longer using. So let's get right into it. Okay, so this is just some of the makeup that I'm working with. I do have some more in my um, Muji drawers, but I think I'm going to start this way and move across. Maybe it would help if I moved some of this stuff out of the way. So, hold on. So, first things first, mascaras. Now, I did cut these down quite a lot last time, but... I have noticed that a few of them have dried out. So this Model Co one, which I absolutely love, this one has completely dried out. I tried using it the other day and nothing happened, so I'm gonna be throwing that one away. I'm also gonna get rid of the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes Mascara. This always creases on me, which is really annoying because it actually makes your lashes look really amazing. And when I say crease, I mean smudge. <laughs> so that one's also dried out. Then I've got three that I'm going to keep. The Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara is my absolute favorite at the moment. This one doesn't smudge at all. It's amazing. I'll also be holding on to the False Lash Wings Mascara from L'Oreal. I really like L'Oreal for more affordable mascaras. And then I have this other one from Rimmel, which you shake like that. And it's supposed to stop it from getting clumpy and from drying up. This one's quite nice, it just adds volume rather than length though. So that's my mascara drop, I've only got three, which I think is pretty reasonable and pretty standard for someone who tends to wear the same makeup every day. Next, I think I'm gonna go through my brow products and I did kind of cut this down quite a bit earlier this year. I really like the um, Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit that'll be staying the Brow This Way Fiber Pencil from Rimmel is amazing. I love this and it has little fibers in the pencil. This is amazing. I'm going to get rid of this. The Brow This Way 3-in-1 Ultra Soft Powder. This just made my brows look a little bit too intense and a little bit too kind of bold for me. Um, so I'll part with that one. This is a, so like a highlighting pencil from your, for your brows. Honestly, don't need this. I just use a regular highlighter. And then the Brow This Way Brow Sculpting Kit from Rimmel. I really do like this, but I've used it heaps. I feel like I've probably had it for too long, so probably time to get rid of it. Then for gels, I'm going to hold on to these two here. Um, the Glossier Boy Brow, which I really like for fluffy brows. And then the Brow This Way from Rimmel again. So that's it for brow products. I thought I'd just bring you in a little bit closer. These are my lip pencils, and honestly, I don't really think that there's anything I want to get rid of. I've got quite a nice selection here of everyday kind of a couple of nudes. I've got the, you know, pink, some burgundy ones, and then also red. So that sort of sees me for every sort of lip option that I would be wanting to do. Uh, next, let's do uh, foundations and I think, so I've only got four here. I really like this one from Clinique. I think it's so nice. Um, I quite like this Wake Me Up one from Rimmel, although I don't really reach for it too often. I'm going to hang on to it. The Luminous Silk I love. And then this one here from Bourjois. Now, I tried this out and I really like the way it looks on my skin, but I can't stand the smell. There's something about it. It's just not for me. So I'm going to pass this one on. So that's it for foundation. Next, let's maybe do sort of like concealers and illuminators. 
So I haven't actually tried this. It's a perfecting radiant skin tint from Rimmel. I don't tend to put too much on my skin, so I think I'm gonna pass this one on to somebody else who might like it. Um, let's just do it this way. This might be a bit more helpful. Um, I really like the Wake Me Up Concealer. I think that's really nice. This Good To Go Highlighter. This is, so Good To Glow. This is quite sparkly. Um, and I actually have quite a few of the highlighters that I like to use. So I think I might part with that one. Um, I've got these little contour concealing kits from Rimmel as well. They're really cute. This one here is a correcting palette. I did try it out, but I don't really tend to use correcting palettes at all or correcting products. The Conceal and Contour is quite cute. I used this recently and I think I'm going to hang on to that one. This highlighting stick from Rimmel, this is super sparkly. It is really nice, but it's just a bit too, a bit too much highlight for me. I think so. I'm gonna pass that one on. I adore the Glossier Halo Soap. I think it's really nice. Then I've got three more products here. This NARS um, Illuminator in Orgasm. This is really pretty. It's quite kind of pinky toned. Again, I think I might pass this one on. I just, how many highlights does one girl need? <laughs> then I've got the Glossier, uh, what's this one called again? Stretch Concealer. This is incredibly creamy and unfortunately I found it's actually been quite kind of creasy on me. But I will hold on to it a bit longer. And then the Naked Skin, I really need to get a full size of this. I love this. It's such a great concealer. I love how cute this little travel size is though. Like, look how adorable. Yeah, so be holding on to that one. So that's what my little container looks like now. Next, let's do eye products. Now, I don't know how much I'm gonna get rid of from in here. Okay. I've ummed and ahed over this Charlotte Tilbury Color Chameleon. These I find quite drying. They dry down really quickly on your eyes. They're not very easy to blend. So I'm going to get rid of this because I just don't reach for it for that very reason. Then this eye pencil from MAC. Look at that. Like, can you see? It's gone white and it's actually a green pencil. That is going in the bin for sure. I've got a waterproof liner and black. I think everybody needs to have just a plain black liner. So I'll stick that one back in here. I love this eye coal from MAC. This is amazing. It's Power Surge. Look how pretty that is. Really, really like that one. Um, I've got a brown liner from Jordana. I actually really like this. It's really creamy, really easy to work with. So that one is also a keeper. My favorite black eyeliner will be staying. Um, I got this jumbo pencil to put uh, what do you call it, eyeshadow on top of, but honestly, I don't reach for this, and I do have other products that do the same thing, so might get rid of that one. Then I've just got a few of those sort of creamy shadow sticks, or these ones are actually just cream shadows. I decided to hang on to this because the color of this is so amazing. It's sort of like a olivey color. This is from, where is it, Maybelline? Look how amazing that color is. I just thought it would be beautiful. If I ever needed something like that for a night out, i very smitten with that. So we'll be hanging on to that as well as the lighter one because I can wear this one for work with a matte color in the crease. Then these two here. I really love this shadow stick from NARS. I haven't used it in a while, so I kind of might start pulling that out again. It's just a really nice taupey shimmer shade. Then this one from By Terry is really beautiful too. It's super creamy. I just don't reach for it much. Maybe I need to kind of bring that back into regular rotation. So I'll hold on to that one too for now. So that's what this looks like now. I don't have heaps and heaps of blushes and bronzers, or at least I personally don't think so compared to other people. But I do have quite a few in here and I do think I can kind of cut this back a little bit. 
I really love this blush. This is one of those cushion blushes. It is super cute, sort of this nice pinky peach color. So I'm gonna be hanging on to that. Someone seems to be going a bit crazy with the horn outside, not sure why, but I'll keep going. I've decided I'm gonna part with this Milani Baked Blush. This is in the shade Luminoso. It is stunning, a really beautiful peachy blush. However, it has quite a bit of glitter in it and I'm not a big fan of a lot of glitter on my face. So that one's going to be going in the giveaway pile. I adore this blush from Erin. It's stunning, a really good everyday cream blush. My Stay Matte Powder, I've had this for quite a while and I've actually got a replacement powder from uh, Rimmel, this Insta Fix and -in Matte. So I think I'm going to hang on to this one and get rid of this one here. Also the packaging on this is cracked so it's not really good for traveling with. Um, then I have this really cute little Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is really nice and it's actually a good size for traveling too. So. Hanging on to that. Now, I actually, hang on a sec. These are the same, I'm pretty sure. Make your mark. Yeah, one of them used to belong to mum and one is mine. So I don't really think I need two of these. So I'm going to part with this one here. Then I have, what's this, Espresso by MAC. This is just a pretty standard brown. This would actually be a really good brow shade if I needed it. Then I have this black single shadow from Shantakai. I don't really use this, but I just feel like I need to hang on to it. Now this has been my everyday eyeshadow color for the last probably month or two. This is the Maybelline 24 hour color tattoo in creamy beige. It's really nice. Um, so that is that draw there. And then we look at what I've got in here. I've decided I'm going to get rid of this Essence So Glow Cream to powder highlight. Um, I mean, it's mostly just because I tend to reach for the same products, but I just found that maybe this is a bit too shimmery for me. And I'm not a big fan of heaps and heaps of shimmer, so I'm going to get rid of that. I really love this little compact Mars blush. Cannot get rid of this. I love it. Obviously, I've hit pan. <laughs> One of my favorites. I think this is almost ready for the bin. As you can see, I've used up so much of this. And this is a little bit too orangey toned, I think, in terms of being a, a contour. So um, I'm going to hang on to these two blushes from NARS. I've got Gina and this one is Deep Throat, I think. Those are both really pretty. I really like this Becca Beach Tint, which you can use on your lips as well as on your cheeks. And my Clinique blushes, I'm not going to part with those either, so <laughs> not really changing too much in there. But, um, I do actually have two powders, which I'm going to hold on to both of these. I've got the Hyaluronic Hydra Powder from By Terry. This is a loose powder. These things are so messy, but I really like them for mattifying my skin and setting my makeup during the summer in particular. I think they come in handy, that's for sure. So I'll be hanging on to both of those. I might do eyeshadow palettes next. I've got quite a few still, somehow. <laughs> Never ends. So I have kind of obviously sort of done a, prim a preliminary look through all these palettes. And this is a really beautiful palette from Tarte. I really love their eyeshadows. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. However, it's a little bit too warm tone for me. And honestly, I'm not really going to use a lot of these shades. And it is quite glittery. So I think I'm going to pass that one on. So that's the Graveyard Swamp Queen palette. It is lovely though. Um, then my Lorac Pro palette. This is amazing. The pigmentation is amazing. I really like the color combo on here. This is a great one for traveling as well. Um, so that is a keeper. One that I've been using a bit recently is actually this one from Urban Decay. This is a Gwen Stefani palette. Unfortunately, no longer available, but I really like the color combo in here. I just think there's some really great stuff to work with. Obviously, these are a little bit more difficult. The black is very matte, which I like. Um, but yeah, so very, very pleased to kind of have <laughs> rediscovered this. And the shadows are also really pigmented, so... That's another thumbs up. Now, one thing I can't get rid of are my MAC eyeshadows. And I know that I did promise to do a eyeshadow uh, collection with all my MAC shadows. This is the palette that I actually made up myself. I haven't gotten around to it yet. I'm really sorry. I just feel like it's one of those ones that's going to be a really long video going through it all, as you can see. 
I have basically every single matte colour under the sun. <laughs> but these are great and they're great everyday eyeshadow palettes too. Then I'm not really doing very well with my eyeshadows. I love these Tarte shadows. I think both of these are great. Probably if I was going to get rid of one of them, I'd probably get rid of this one here, which is the Tarte Lit, original Tarte Lit palette, just because I don't tend to reach for it too often, and I do think I've got a few of these shades in other palettes that I have. So um, maybe I will pass this one on, actually. I'll just hang on to the In Bloom one, which I adore. And then I have my Lorac Contour Palette, which is great because it's got bronzer in it. This is sort of the powder bronzer that I've been using a lot as of late. I really like Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows, actually. I started using this again uh, recently, too. This is the Golden Goddess Palette. Really, really nice. Then this one here, I haven't touched this, although it looks a bit grubby. This is the La Palette Nude from L'Oreal. So I got this in a work um, gift bag and I wanted to have a look at the shades but I sort of feel like I've got these colours in my um, makeup collection already so I think I'm going to pass this one on too. I think I'm going to end on lipsticks. I'm going to do all the sort of random bits and bobs first. So this one is sort of where my overflow kind of goes. I've got this setting spray from Rimmel. I don't really use setting sprays so that one is going to go in the giveaway pile. Um, I have really sensitive skin and unfortunately as much as I love this L'Occitane hand cream it actually uh, irritates my skin and gives me eczema so I'm going to have to give that one away. Uh, same goes for this apricot hand cream. This smells amazing. It's from Etude House. I really like that but yeah just isn't really working out for me. This is a little um, sample of the Elemis Pro Radiance Illuminating Flash Balm. This stuff's really nice and it's kind of got a little bit of radiance in it. I don't have too much of it left, but I sort of feel like it makes my skin look really glowy when I use it, so I might use that one up. Um, Nivea Cream, this is just a good staple to have. Um, what else have I got in here? I've got my, um, this is for my eczema. I've got a foot cream. I really like this. this is from Palmer's. It's really good. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this hand cream from Aesop. As much as I love Aesop products, I'm not a huge fan of the vetiver root sort of scent. It's a bit too, it's a bit too earthy for me. Not, not feeling it. So I'm going to give that one away. The Vell Mineral Primer from Hourglass is amazing. I love that. Another sample. I don't really need this. Um, I'll give that away. This was the... This is like an eyeshadow primer from MAC, but as you can see it's sort of all dried out, so I'm going to get rid of that as well. The only other two products I've got in here are a moisturizer from La Roche-Posay, which I keep in here in case I forget to moisturize in the bathroom. And I've also got this eye... It's sort of like an eyeshadow primer from MAC. This is one of their long wear paint pots. Which is pretty good. It does crease on me though because I do tend to have oilier eyelids. So that's kind of like my miscellaneous draw done. Then we'll do... I've got loads of nail polishes. Now, as you can see, I sort of really like those sort of pinky shades. I'm going to get rid of all my Chanel nail polishes just because these chip on me after a day and I just don't really see the point in keeping them. They're beautiful, beautiful colours. They have some of the most beautiful colours I think out of all of the nail polish brands out there but they just do not work for me. Um, a shame because also they do look really lovely in photos too so those ones are going to go on the giveaway pile. Um, and then with these Essie nail polishes, I'm going to get rid of this red because I don't know, it it looks nice on uh, um, in my viewfinder here but in person, I'm not a huge fan of it. I much prefer this sort of very orange toned red from Nails Inc. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm also going to get rid of this nail oil because I never use it. Okay, so that's my nail polishes. Finally, we've got lipsticks. Now, I've got quite a lot of lipsticks. I'm going to pull them all in here. Okay. Now I think we'll start with what I've got in this little container. And 
and let's see now I've got a lot of reds and I know someone said I should swatch all of the reds and then decide which ones to get rid of and I did that this morning so I decided I'm gonna get rid of this one here from Bourgeois it's really quite watery and while I love the color I think this was hot pepper I just don't really like the way that it applies you see that? Such a pretty color though. But I have quite a few orangey reds, so I don't really need that many. I'm also going to get rid of this gloss. This is a little mini. Um, this is a bit hyper intense for me, as you can see. But I used to sort of wear it a bit toned down. I'd sort of rub it into my lips. Don't reach for that really. Oh, whoops. Whoopsies. Um, then in here, I'm going to actually part with these two sheer lippies from uh, Rimmel. I've just found that I haven't really reached for them at all. They're both lovely colors but this red one is sheer and I just find it doesn't work the best for my skin tone. Same goes with the pink, it's just a little bit too light. I love this color here. This is from, where's this from? Is this L'Oreal? Or is it Maybelline? It's Maybelline. I was gonna say, it doesn't even have anything on there. It's such a pretty color. I think it's sort of one of those all year round sort of colors. Love that. Then these two Kate for Rimmel lipsticks, I think I'm gonna hold on to. This is just a really good everyday sort of color. Really great one. Um, and obviously, this darker shade is a really good one for the winter months. I need to wear that more before it gets too hot. I can't bear to part with any of these Charlotte Tilbury for MAC lipsticks for those will be staying. This is one of my favorite reds from Tom Ford. It is Wild Ginger. But I'm going to have so many swatches on my hand. Look how pretty that is. So lovely. Um, okay. I think we'll pop those in there like that. And then let's just move on to all these other ones. Okay, so... My brother and sister were recently in Japan and I asked my brother to bring me back these Sailor Moon lipsticks. I'm going to do a whole review of them on my blog. If I have already, I will link them down below, but some of the colors just aren't me. Like this one here is this super vibrant pink and I know I'm never going to wear that. Like, look at that. It's like hot pink. Um, then I've got this one here, which I'm sort of wondering, is this too light? No, this is a really pretty peachy one. So I'm going to hang on to that one. This one is a uh, red, which is really pretty, so I'll hold on to that one. I think the only one I really wanted to get rid of was the uh, Sailor Moon one, because this one's also quite pretty too. Or maybe I do want to get rid of the blue one. I might just hang on to those three for now. I've also got the Sailor Jupiter one in my bag, which is really nice. Then when it comes to... I'm going to hold on to this. This is a Prep and Prime for your lips from MAC, which is great. I really like these Bite beauty lip crown. They're so nice. They look absolutely gorgeous. Um, these uh, cream lip stains from Sephora are really nice too. However, was it this one I was testing earlier? No. I like these ones. They're really, really good. This is a great red as well. Very affordable. Um, I'm going to get rid of this chubby stick from Clinique. I just never reach for stuff like that. Um, this is nice. It instant, what is it called? Light natural lip perfecter. Never use the sample from Hourglass. It's a little bit too deep for me, I think, and a little bit too blue tone, too raspberry. So that one will be going in the giveaway pile. I never use this from NARS. It's red square. It's a lovely color, but it's just a bit too matte for me. So that'll be getting given away. I love this red from Chanel. It's gorgeous. That's a keeper. Oh, I have these um, lip contour doers from Tom Ford. Now, I absolutely love public display. This is stunning. It's sort of like a velvet teddy kind of color. You can see it there. Uh, but the other shade that I've got, I'm not a big fan of. It is called Dream Obscene. And this is sort of one of those mauvey, purpley colors. It's just not right for my skin tone, so I'm going to give that one away. I have these two gorgeous lip colors from uh, Estee Lauder. Look how cool the bullet is on this. 
Love these. So we'll hang on to those. I'm going to get rid of this Wet n Wild lipstick just because I tried it before and it's just a bit too light for my lips. So it looked a little bit silly on me as well as this little Panda's Dream. Look at that. <laughs> that one's a bit, a bit too much for me. I love this from MAC. God, I really do have way too many reds, but I can't help it. I love a good red lip. This here is unopened from NYX, so I'm going to give this one away. And then I think I want to give this one away from NYX too. I think this one was not really quite right. Yeah, I'm going to give that one away from NYX in addition to this Kat Von D lipstick. Um, it's Love Sick, the Everlasting Look Good lipstick. This is just, again, <laughs> it doesn't look right on me. It sort of just makes me look a little bit dead. It's that one. It's just the cool tone sort of purpley pinks are not my color. This was my wedding day lipstick, Beige Pop from Clinique. I love, love, love this. It's so pretty. Um, and then I'm going to hang on to these ones from Charlotte Tilbury. I've already gone through my MAC lipsticks. I'm going to keep all of them. So, yeah. Look how pretty this one is. This is Runway Hit. That one's really nice. Okay, and then I've just got a couple more. I'm going to hang on to these soft matte lip creams from NYX. I think these are really great, really affordable matte kind of lipstick. And then this one here from MAC is not my favorite color, but I really like the formula. It's Lip Tensity. This is the shade Mulling Spices. And if I can find somewhere to swatch it, it's a really blue toned red. But I might just hang on to it for now. Okay, so this is all of the makeup that I decided to kind of hang on to. I do want to also do sort of a bit of a skincare clear out as well, but I think this video is already going to be super long, so I'm just going to leave it here. So that was my entire makeup declutter. Thank you so much if you did manage to make it all the way to the end. I know this is probably a pretty long one. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this. Do subscribe if you're new here and you want to see more videos from me like this or style and fashion videos. And I will see you next time with a brand new video. I'll see you soon. Bye.